Greetings, this is Claude Woodward here, aka The Sonic Manipulator. But today, I'm in serious mode. I've just invented what I think is going to be the future of synthesizer controllers. Behold, the Claude controller. <laughs> This particular instrument consists of three sections. We have the keyboard with the fantastic vibe bar, an invention that I've had for many years and would not play a keyboard without. The Claude controller itself, which is an array of 36 wheels and two joysticks, which you manipulate with your left hand, and these all send controller information to a synthesizer, and a pedal board which has two continuous pedals and four switches for manipulating things with your feet. I always have one of the pedals mapped to filter cutoff, so you can always play away and get that. We have the vibe bar. Now, what this is, when you play a note, you get mechanical vibrato, much like a guitar string or violin or instead of that somewhat artificial sounding LFO based modulation. And as well as that you have a tone bend if you move it all the way up exactly from and if you roll it towards yourself a semitone and if you go up and forward you get a tone and a half. I'm currently using Logic Pro and using the ES2 plug-in synthesizer. Now I've laid out these controls in a fairly ergonomic fashion. As you can see, it's set up like a, a keyboard with a, a row of 15 wheels and then two and three and two and three. So it looks like a keyboard. This is so that you can easily see where each wheel is and you get to know what that wheel does. So it's a, just a visual reference. Now, as you can see, I've added these cute little diamond things here, uh, which are a tactile and visual reference of where the wheel is. So that's when it's completely back. Move it up two there when it's halfway. Move it all the way up and you'll see through. First wheel is for volume. And this first section of wheels is to do with the oscillators of the instrument. So we have the pitch of the various oscillators. And a joystick which controls the relative volumes of all those particular uh, oscillators. Now the next section is the envelope section. We have a amplifier ADSR, so you get and release, so if you want to get uh, some sustain on the note. also have a filter envelope. Now after that we have the modulation section which is one is for the filter and one is for the oscillator. Now the oscillator one comes first. This is the depth of the modulation, the speed of the modulation, and the uh, 
wave shape of the modulation. Mm -hmm. You have the same thing for a second low frequency oscillator which articulates the filter. So turn that off. This is the depth of the modulation, speed of the modulation, and again the uh, general wave shape. Then we have the next section which is essentially all the other controls that I couldn't put in any of those sections. We have glide. <laughs> The resonance control of the filter. So I can uh, take, take that off. Nice when you're using this in conjunction with the filter control, the filter envelope. And we have a couple other controls here. The filter has a drive control to give it a bit of extra grunt and this other FM control to do with the uh, filter as well. Which sounds a little nasty but can be useful. Uh, so that's essentially all the general synthesizer controls that I've used and the rest of the section has to do with effects. The first one is the uh, reverb. So that's the depth of the reverb, how much it adds to the sound and we have here the um, actual time of the reverb so you can have it right up to a same goes for the echo echo amount but we have the echo repeat rate um, down low here and we can turn that repeat turn that repeat rate up then we have a chorus here which is nice to bring in. This is normally a uh, the depth of the, I've uh, got a flanger, but on this particular synthesizer it has a flanger built in. The depth of the flanger is here and the speed is here on this joystick, so take those off. Leslie effect here. And uh, distortion amount. So, got to turn this down a bit. And I've added a, um, a wah wah pedal that you can kick in with that. So I'll make more videos as I go. I'm very interested uh, in people's feedback, what, what you guys all think of it, uh, whether you'd want one, whether you think it's as fantastic as I do, whether you think it's the future of synthesis as we know it. So let me know, send any information you want, and we will chat soon. Mm -hmm.